Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make an atole de Dia de Muertos or simpasuchil with a mandarin. So let me give the ingredients. For this atole, we're gonna need a marigold flour, just the petals, okay? So I got these ones here, about four or five uh, bulbs, and you're just gonna use the petals. <clears throat> we don't want the green part, just the petals. So this is about six of them, and we're gonna need two cups of milk. One piloncillo or sugar cane. This one, piloncillo. You can use brown sugar if you don't have this one, or maple syrup. <clears throat> also, we need uh, some uh, canela or cinnamon sticks. So I use one of this and just break it, okay? Also, we're gonna need half a cup of maseca. <clears throat> this one, the corn masa. You can always use cornstarch if you don't find the maseca. You can use cornstarch instead. So we're gonna make a little mass out of here. <clears throat> and also we need the mandarin. You can always use any citrus you like. Mandarin, oranges, grapefruit. It's gonna be optional. And we're just gonna need the zest. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring your uh, canela to boil. So I got uh, three cups of water with the cinnamon stick, put it in there, bring it to boil, and then, as soon as it start boiling, we're gonna add the piloncillo. So let me put this back in the, uh, the heat and show you next step. So as soon as you have your canela water already boiling, now you're gonna add the cane sugar, so that way it melts. And I have this uh, molinillo, you can use the whisk if you like, if you have it. Now you can use this, you know, it's just to break the sugar, and the lumps from the masa that when we do the masa we're gonna break the lumps so bring it to boil and now we're gonna add the mandarin zest so that way we have some flavor and like this and then i'm gonna come back and show you next step now we're gonna add the zest of the mandarin and you can put as much as you want if you don't have a zester just peel the skin very you know like not the white part but just the orange part so that way it's not too bitter. So you're gonna put it in here, bring it to boil, and then we're gonna do the masa. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add the milk, just a little vanilla, about one tablespoon, or to taste. I had a, put already a little bit before. And now you're gonna add your simpasuchi uh, petals. Okay, very cool, petals. The rest of the milk. And we're gonna blend it. I'm gonna grab my blender and show you next step. Now you're gonna blend your uh, milk. We're gonna strain our um, flour with the milk. So it's like a milkshake. Look at this. Make sure you get all this out. Okay. This one you're gonna throw it away later. Or you can uh, boil the milk <clears throat> and then uh, blend it if you want. But this is, uh, this is not good. We just want the color. Look at this, beautiful. So now, we're gonna make the masa and show you next. What we're we gonna do, we're gonna put the maseca here and some of the canela water, okay? And use a spoon so that way you don't burn your fingers. And this is the consistency that you want, like this, nice and soft, okay? So now you have your masa, you can make tortillas with a cinnamon flavor. I'm gonna mix it. And now you can use your hands. And we're gonna use this masa to take our um, atole, okay? So you have your masa here. Now you can put it on the side. And you can add it as much as you want. It's like making a roux. But instead of using a uh, fat, we're using liquid, okay? Like a slurry. Now, <clears throat> We're gonna put this in the milk in there and show you the next step. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the milk and we're gonna bring it to boil. So now we're just gonna bring it to boil and then we're gonna thicken it up. So now the, we have this uh, Mexican blender or a uh, whisk. This is a wooden whisk. 
and you want to use it like this. Sometimes people, they see them in the stores and they don't know what, what is it for you. So this one is to make atoles, chocolates. So this is to make your uh, atoles. So that way you don't have any lumps. And you go like this. Right? So we're just gonna bring this to boil and then add the maseca. As soon as it start boiling, you're gonna turn it up or lower your heat all the way down. And now we're gonna add the maseca, little by little. Okay? And we're gonna stir. <clears throat> then we're gonna come back and check our thickness. As you know, start boiling, you're gonna lower your heat. Now you're gonna add your masa. And with a, a palote or with a whisk, you're gonna break the lumps, okay? So just keep it in a low heat and then we're gonna bring it, you know, back to boil. So that way you can uh, see the thickness on the tole. So if you don't have a whisk, you know, and you're using the molinillo, this is what's gonna happen. You're not gonna be able to dilute the masa. You're gonna have lumps. So what you can do, you can strain it on the side, or you can put the, uh, the maseca with a little milk or water in the blender, or you can dilute it like this, you know, so that way it's have like a slurry. And then you add it to your uh, tolly. But <clears throat> I just wanna, you know, leave it like this so that way I can show you the what to do and what not to do. So now we're gonna put it back in the jarro, bring it to boil, and then serve. Okay, now that you have your atole, now that you have your atole, you're gonna let it thick or, you know, however you wanna serve it, but this is done. So now you're gonna put it in your uh, mug. Just put a few petals, just for garnish. And just be careful when you serve it, because it's very, very hot. So remember, it's like you're having a slurry. It's very good. And then with a the little pan de muertos on the side, the day of the dead breath. Oof. Thank you and enjoy. Thank you.